Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be telling you the pros and the cons of a divided fish tank. I have used a divided tank before in the past. I've actually used one twice. Um, one was store-bought and one was homemade. And these are things that I have either um, experienced myself or have seen other people experience while they were using divided tanks. So with that being said, let's get right to the points. So the first pro, and this is definitely um, the number one reason that I got a divided tank, and, and this was that um, it is cheaper than buying two separate tanks. When you have one tank, um, say it's a five gallon, and you can split it to two, two and a half gallons, it saves you money overall because you don't have to go and buy two separate tanks. Now, if you choose to make your divider at home, um, depending what materials you use, or I guess how professional you want it to look, you could spend under a dollar to divide your own tank at home, which obviously is going to be cheaper than buying a whole new tank. Having a divided tank means that you don't have to go and buy a separate heater and filter for this other fish that you're putting in this tank. Most um, dividers, um, and I would say probably the best dividers, have the ability for water to flow through them. And this simply means that the heater and the filter will affect the water on both sides because the water is able to flow through the divider. So now you don't have to buy a new tank, but you also don't have to buy an additional heater, filter, and or air stone. Now the next pro, and I know I'm going through these um, pretty quickly, is that overall it saves space. You're not going to need to find an additional spot in your house to put this tank. Um, you're not going to need to find more outlets. You're not going to need to find another stand. It definitely saves you a lot of space because you only have to work with the tank that you already have up and running. And if you don't have it up and running, then you only need to find space for one tank and not for two. And the last pro of a divided tank is simply that it allows you to buy more fish. If you currently have a tank already set up and you want to introduce another fish into your home, um, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, like maybe you don't have the spot to put another tank, is the option to divide your current tank is there for you. So it does kind of open up the ability for you to get another fish when maybe otherwise you wouldn't be able to. And now, like all fish keeping choices, there are always going to be some cons to every decision that you make, and so I'm going to address those for you right now. The first con of having a divided tank is that the diseases spread very quickly in a divided tank. Um, because, like I mentioned earlier, the water will flow through, if a fish has a illness, um, such as ick, um, which is very contagious to other fish, can take over a tank very, very quickly. If one of your fish gets ick, in the eyes of the parasite and the water, um, your fish is in the same tank. So it will spread just like as if it would in a community tank. So if you have a 20 gallon that is split four or five ways, um, all four of your fish, or five of your fish will end up um, with the same condition if it is a contagious thing. This could mean if it is something that is incurable or something that you are not equipped or knowledgeable enough to cure, um, you could rapidly lose a lot of your fish. Meanwhile, if they were in separate tanks, then only the first fish that was affected would pass away and not all of them. Or um, you would only have to treat the one. Now the next con, and this is something that I unfortunately have experience with myself, um, is that dividers can fail. Whether or not you bought it from a store or you make it yourself, and this basically means that your fish may be able to get through the divider. Um, maybe it doesn't fit 100% or maybe it's just starting to wear down, maybe it's broken. Um, if you are using this divided tank for bettas, which is what a lot of people use um, divided tanks for, a failed divider could mean you lose both of your fish. So no matter what the case is, whether they get through or they get injured or they get stuck, um, a divider, when it fails, can be catastrophic. Now, the next con of having a divided tank, when you divide it, of course, each fish will get a smaller um, amount of space. Chances are you are dividing a tank for your own benefit. Um, now, it's not necessarily a selfish decision to divide a tank, but there is no benefit to your fish. Um, it is solely um, for you. So there is that con is that each fish generally gets a smaller amount of space than you originally would have been able to provide if your tank was not divided. Now, the last thing that I will say is some fish generally get stressed out by dividers. Um, now, this isn't something that's the most common thing, um, but it is possible. If you are using a glass divider and it is see-through, the bettas will see each other and they might start to flare and they will get stressed out by this by constantly being able to see the other fish through the divider. 
um, if you have one with holes in it, if you have a mesh one, they still might be able to see each other through the divider. This also extends to if you have a male on one side and a female on the other side, they might sense each other's presence and get really worked up. And the last thing that might stress a fish out in regards to the divider is if somehow they realize that there is a fish on the other side or they re realize that maybe there's food on the other side or even if they realize that there's more tank space on the other side that they want to get to, they may become fixated on trying to get through the divider. They will become kind of stressed out because they're constantly trying to either dig under the divider, jump over it, something like that. So those are my pros and cons in regards to a divided fish tank. And of course, this is primarily um, keeping two betta fish together. Um, there's not a huge reason that a lot of people would want to divide um, community tanks. Some people do if there's type of fish that um, can't be together. But from what I've seen, most of the divided tanks um, are a result of having two bettas together. I hope to do a video on um, making a homemade divider in a short amount of time. Um, I just have to make sure that I get the supplies um, and then I hope to make that video um, sooner than later. So maybe keep an eye out for that because um, hopefully it's coming soon. <laughs> but leave a comment down below if you have any other pros and cons in regards to um, a divided tank that I haven't mentioned that you think would assist another fish keeper. Um, but that is really all for today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye, guys.